A very good afternoon to all of you. Uh, this is your game from Fast Coding School. Uh, please confirm if you can hear me. Okay, uh, Puneet Kaur, uh, Vivek, Nana Bansal, Rahul Amdawadi, Tapashwini, Nana Bansal, and a lot of people raising their hand. Vishwaji Das, Vishal, Jai Krishna, and a couple of more people responding back in the chat window. Uh, thank you, guys. So, uh, guys, uh, welcome again. Uh, Welcome to Fast Coding School, and uh, this is our day two. Uh, and the program uh, that you are part of is a supervised uh, machine learning. That is the program name we have. And basically, this is the third day, but I'm going to call it as day two because the first day was basically, you know, uh, uh, you know, day zero actually. So, uh, you know, we already had day zero and day one. So last two days we have covered and today uh, is uh, day two. As per the schedule, we are going to call it uh, day two. So uh, guys, uh, is, is my uh, screen visible to you and audio is clear? Please confirm. Okay. Hmm. Cool. Okay, so uh, um, <laughs> now people are uh, more uh, in sync with me and whenever I ask any question, people are responding. So I think that's a good sign. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you all of you uh, in understanding, you know, uh, what is needed uh, for a uh, better communication over uh, online class. So uh, I think we can start now. So just to have a very uh, a quick uh, a review or quick recap uh, that what we have done in last two days. So guys, can you please quickly, you know, uh, uh, share your learning with me that what you have covered or what we have covered in last two days, what was your learning? So uh, now people are responding, you know, uh, uh, pandas, filtering data, matplotlib, use of Python, you know, uh, handling none, uh, uh, anion values, okay, uh, basics of numpy, pandas, matplotlib, data visualization, uh, Jay Sharma uh, uh, saying pandas, data analytics, okay. Uh, Okay, okay, good, good. Now people are responding and they, they are, you know, sharing their learning with, with us. And, and that's very good. Uh, okay. Hmm. Handling uh, data through NumPy and Pandas. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, manipulating the data within, okay. Uh, Okay. Hmm. Uh, lock functions, I lock functions. Uh, uh, if you remember from yesterday. Okay, good. So, uh, in the last two days, if, if you, uh, you know, uh, want to have a quick recap around that. So, on the uh, day zero, guys, we were talking about the visualization library that was matplotlib. So along with other discussions, you know, what is uh, AI, you know, uh, how come ML and DL can be used to implement uh, AI to achieve AI, right? And other, you know, a uh, couple of things, what is Python, which version we are using, which tool we are using, where Python is being used, why it is the most popular programming language as of now. A lot of things, you know, were discussed on the day zero. That was the start of our program. And uh, uh, only one library we could complete that day and that was the matplotlib, right? And on the day one, that was basically yesterday, right? On the yesterday, we discussed two libraries. If you remember, the one library was NumPy and the other one was Pandas. And using NumPy, basically what you can do, you can do mathematical operations on the data 
and the data that now you have you know uh, in numpy is basically called nd array if you remember from yesterday's guys we converted a list data to a nd array using a function if you remember np dot array there are a couple of more functions as well but i could only you know discuss couple of two three you know np dot array was there np dot uh, a range was there right uh, uh, you know a, a couple of things were there and uh, uh, I, I also discussed three different things with you uh, when you are talking about the ND array data, what are the number of dimensions, whether it's a one dimensional data, whether it's a two dimensional data, whether it's a three dimensional data or, you know, N dimensional data. So NDIM concept was there. If you remember guys, we also understood about the shape that how many rows and columns we have, right? So that was the shape, number of, you know, row count, uh, and the column count, so Sharif was given uh, with us. And if you remember, guys, from uh, NumPy discussion, uh, uh, you know, we had uh, one more attribute called D type. D type was data type. That what is the data type of each element that has been stored in the ND array? And after understanding the basics of the NumPy, we moved on to pandas library and where what we did yesterday guys if you remember we loaded a data what was the data that we loaded using read csv uh, if you remember guys right uh, read underscore uh, csv was the method where we you know uh, loaded the data from salaries.csv that was the file right and from salaries.csv we loaded the data and then we created a data frame we created a data frame. What is the data frame? A data which is in tabular format, right? Tabular format. And using that data frame, we did a lot of, you know, a function calling. We used to call this, you know, had. We used to call tail. We used to call sample. We used to call, you know, a unique, uh, you know, a values. We used to call uh, the specific column data. We used to call I lock methods. We used to call lock methods. We, you know, we we got to know how to, you know, uh, calc, uh, how to check for the uh, missing, you know, uh, data uh, null values. If you remember, lot of things happened yesterday uh, while discussing the pandas with you, right? So generally, these are the three libraries: uh, Matplotlib, NumPy, and pandas, which are used for uh, you know, uh, data analytics purpose, data analytics purpose, handling the data, pre-processing the data, pandas is heavily used, numpy is heavily used, right? So that is the story uh, so far, guys. That is the story so far. And uh, now on the day two part, now we are going to start with machine learning, that what the machine learning is. So we are going to define the machine learning first. Let me discuss the agenda for today. What we can, you know, we are we will try to achieve today. So uh, let's have a uh, new slide here. So now, guys, we are you know uh, here, and and when we say what is the agenda uh, for today. So uh, uh, first, we are going to define a couple of terms. So I would be defining what the machine learning is. So I would be defining that, right? And after that machine learning, today we are going to uh, uh, cover uh, uh, algorithm. So, you know, a, a little mathematics would be there in the uh, today's session. So uh, there is an algorithm which is, uh, uh, you know, very much used in uh, machine learning domain. And that algorithm is known as linear regression. It's just a name for you as of now, guys, if you're not aware of this algorithm, uh, but that's okay. I will, you know, uh, make you comfortable after, uh, you know, uh, end of this session, you would be comfortable with what the linear regression is. Uh, don't worry about that. So, uh, you know, and and couple of uh, uh, things, uh, uh, you know, uh, would be there uh, in that linear regression. So we will spend a good amount of time there on, on that part as well. So guys, is the agenda for today clear that what we are going to achieve? So we are going to you know, uh, clearly understand what the machine learning is, right? And then uh, after that, uh, the story starts where you start using a couple of algorithms. 
so uh, um, that we are going to you know uh, cover uh, and that algorithm would be a linear regression today right so uh, let's start now guys so okay hmm. see this uh, a little you know high school uh, mathematics uh, would be there but not much i would be you know uh, talking about the concept i would be talking about the philosophy and not going very deep into the mathematics because that is not very much required if you want to solve uh, the problems right so problem solving approach is more important than understanding you know uh, the depth of mathematics and machine learning so if you want to join a uh, uh, for example you know a uh, uh, industry right so in in industry what is needed that you should be able to solve the problems you should be clearly understanding the requirement of the people requirement of the client and you know according to that you should be able to develop the solution around that that is very very important and in that process you can use any programming language you can use any algorithm you can use any library you can use any framework that is you know a different story altogether but first you have to understand the client requirement and you have to find out that what is the best way possible to develop a solution for that requirement that is more important so guys uh, uh i have a, a mathematical equation which is let's say this y is equal to fx and i think this this equation is you know a, a well known to everyone and in this equation if you look at this y is called as dependent variable if you remember from your mathematics days right this is called dependent variable and this x is called you know a uh, independent variable this x is called independent variable and what is this f this f is called mapping function right this f is called mapping function and now i can take couple of examples from your mathematics only that you know by following this relationship between uh, x and y and f if you remember you are very well known to this equation y is equal to mx plus c so this is you know this is uh, you know kind of a mapping function now that how come x and y are related to each other right if you if you remember guys this is the equation of a straight line right so this is one example that how you can have a some real equation here you know uh, if you remember guys uh, there was kind of equation as this as well you know ax to the power n then you know bx to the power n minus 1 and then you know cx to the power n minus 2 and so on kind of equations were there or maybe you have seen these equations say x square uh, uh, ax plus you know uh, or by plus cz plus d couple of equations you know you can have any you know a uh, relationship so these are uh, some of the examples but overall the generic equation remains this the generic equation remains this where we have you know uh, uh, this y is equal to fx and what are the three entities here the three entities are here the x is independent variable uh, y is the dependent variable and f is the mapping function okay we got it now guys as a general mathematic problem as a general mathematics problem right while solving those mathematical problems what is given to you a teacher or a problem statement gives you that this is the mapping function and this is the x okay can you find out the value of y find y generally that is the format of you know a problems in the mathematics you are given a mapping function right you are given the value of x which is independent variable and given these two things it's now pretty easy for us to find out the value of y right in some of the literatures the dependent variable is also called as target guys 
sometimes this is also called as response as well. So literature to literature, it may vary, but the most used term for this Y is dependent variable. So that is there. So in mathematics, what is given to you? You are given F, you are given X, and, and using these two, you can easily find out the value of Y. So guys, so far, are you with me? Do you agree with me that if you have an equation Y is equal to FX, you can clearly identify the value of dependent variable given you have the mapping function and you have the value of independent variable X. Guys, there seems to be some technical problem. Guys, there seems to be some technical problem. Uh, give us a few minutes. We'll get a result. I'm back. There was some issue uh, with, uh, there was a power cut actually. So eventually I lost the internet connection as well. So guys, can you hear me? Uh, uh, please confirm if you can hear me now. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, just a minute, let me settle a couple of things. Okay, so I was here guys and just a minute. So guys, uh, uh, can you see the screen? Can you see my screen now? Okay, okay. Cool. So I was telling you that in mathematics, we have y is equal to fx uh, uh, equation. Uh, where x is independent variable, f is mapping function, y is dependent variable, and in a mathematical problem, we are given f and, and x, and using those two entities, we can easily find out the value of y. That was the mathematics. But now, we are moving to machine learning world. So what happens in case of machine learning? So in case of machine learning, guys, right, so that was the story of the mathematics. Now I'm talking about AML world, right? And what is that? The story is this, that in machine learning, we are given X and Y, right? We are given what? We are given X, we are given Y, we are given independent variable, we are given dependent variable, both. And because now we have X and Y, using this, we can find out the mapping function because Y is equal to FX is that if you know the two, two entities, right? you can easily identify the third one. And now, 
In case of machine learning, what is given to us? We are given X, we are given Y. And if that is given to us, we can easily identify the mapping function. But what to do if I find out the mapping function? If you have identified the mapping function, now what you can do? You can find out the value of Y for a new value of X, guys, right? If using X and Y that you have, you can find out the mapping function. And once that mapping function is known to you, now what you can do using that mapping function for a new value of X that is given to you, you can find out the value of your dependent variable, right? Because now you know the F and now you have a new value of X and using these two, you can easily identify that what is the new value of dependent variable corresponding to this new x act of you know finding out the dependent variable for new value of x act of finding out the value of y, y for a new x right this is known as you know a prediction in case of machine learning this is known as prediction so guys, let me again, you know, I'll give you a formal definition of what the machine learning is. In machine learning, what is given to you? You are given X and Y. Using X and Y, you can easily identify the mapping function. And once that mapping function is known to you, right, you can easily identify and, and find out a value of Y for a new value of X. This happens in case of machine learning. Isko machine learning kehte hain. And now this X and Y, this set of X and Y is basically called as data set. Kya kehte hain isko hum log? We call this as a data set. So once you have a data set, what you can do, you can find out the mapping function. And once the mapping function is known to you, you can you know, use that mapping function to find out the dependent variable values for new x, new independent variable ki liye aap dependent variable ki values identify kar sakte hain. Act of finding out this, right, y is known as prediction. And act of finding out the mapping function, x or y agar de rakhe, data, data set agar de rakha hai, using that finding out the mapping function is known as training. Isko hum kehate hain training. This is called as training. So guys, what I'm saying in machine learning, that in machine learning, you are given X and Y. Now we would start calling this X and Y as data set. So once the data set is with you, right? You can find out the mapping function. Finding the mapping function is called as training. This is called as training. And once that training is complete, that means you have identified the mapping function. And once the mapping function is with you, now you can easily find out the value of Y for any given value of X. This is act of prediction. Isko kehte hai, prediction. Guys, is the story around AML? Is the formal definition of machine learning clear to you now? Okay, okay. Hmm. Cool. Okay. So, what is training here? Training hum kisko keh rahe? Training is like given X and Y. Aapko kya de rakha hai? X and Y. Given X and Y. What you can find out according to, you know, this relationship. Guys, remember this relationship is important. Y is equal to F X. So, if X and Y are given to you, right? If X and Y are given to you, right? You can find out this mapping function. And, and finding the mapping function is called as training. training This is called as training, right? And once the training is done, once you have the mapping function, you can start using that mapping function to find out the value, new value of Y for a new X that act is called as prediction right so what what we have three things now in the ml guys in the ml now we have a data set okay once we have the data set what we have we have a training and then what we have we have prediction okay in the data set exactly what you have you have x and y that means you have the values of 
independent variable and the values of dependent variable and the training what you exactly doing you are finding out the mapping function and in the prediction what exactly you are doing you are using that mapping function to perform the calculations for a new value of x new value of independent variable is that clear with you guys now right okay okay cool so now let's discuss a couple of more things around that so let me discuss a couple of things around that guys now this x and y right which we call it's a data set now in mathematics this x is independent variable and this y is dependent variable but in case of guys but in case of machine learning the, now this x would be called as feature isko hum log kya kahenge guys aage se hum apne x ko kya kahenge we will call this as a feature okay and we start calling y as a label now we start calling this as a label guys so in a data set what you will have you will have a feature and you will have the label right so whatever we were calling x as an independent variable and dependent variable uh, you know now ab hum unko kya bolna chalu karenge when we are talking about machine learning feature and label so guys what is the feature basically it's an independent variable and what is the label basically this is a dependent variable so once your data set is there your data set will have what it will have features that feature you know features could be there and label would be there and once your data set has these two you can find out the mapping function and after that you can perform the prediction that happens there now guys what i told you what what i told you guys that finding the mapping function is basically called as training right that is known as training and now remember from your data structure days guys remember from your data structure days guys uh, uh have you uh, you know uh, uh, read uh, let's say uh, sorting guys right what was there that you have couple of items with you you have couple of items with you and now you want to sort them guys you want to sort them right so the sorting can be through different ways sorting alag alag tarike se ho sakti hai what are the possible you know algorithms that you know guys bubble sort is there right a quick sort is there insertion sort is there selection sort is there lot of sorting you know uh, uh, you know algorithms are there to solve the same problem guys right bucket sort is there radix sort is there merge sort is there heap sort is there bahut sare naam hain wahan pe right kuch ko main bhul gaya tha bachcho ne yaad dilaya logo ne mujhe message kiya hai right so guys sorting can be done right and to achieve sorting there are different ways there are different algorithms through which you can sort your data similarly guys listen what i say now very important similarly jaise sorting ko perform karne ke liye right the way you use different algorithms to sort your data similarly we use different algorithms to find out the mapping function here guys That's what i am saying guys we use different algorithms to find out what mapping function that means for training you can have different algorithm right i'm going to talk about those algorithms yet but i just gave you a basic idea that finding out the mapping function to find out the mapping functions there are various algorithms in machine learning और उसी एक अलगोर्थम का मैंने नाम आपको लिया था गेव यू वन नेम टूडे दैट नेम वॉज लीनियर रिग्रेशन दैट मीन्स लीनियर रिग्रेशन इज एलगोर्थम 
through which what we can do, we can perform training. That means we can find out the mapping function. And once mapping function is there, we can perform prediction. So guys, did you understand this relationship? So I'm trying to explain that whole scenario when you are talking about the machine learning that what is feature, what is label, what is data set, what is mapping function, what is training, what are the algorithms and what the prediction is. Guys, is that clear? Okay, okay. Hmm. So now let's, you know, uh, uh, understand one more time. So everything would be clear to you guys after that, right? So what I said that guys, you have a data set. Okay, you have a data set. Okay. In that data set, what exactly you have? In that data set, basically you have features and you have label. Once that is there, what you can do guys, you can find out the mapping function. So you are doing a training here and what you find out the mapping function and to perform training and find out the mapping functions, there is a list of algorithms with you. So you have a lot of algos here guys, right? And once that mapping function is there by applying any algorithm, like just like you sorting, you have applied so many algorithms. So similarly, we can choose any algorithm from that and now find out the mapping function. And after that, we perform prediction on the data. So that is the whole story, guys. And the feature is basically what? Your independent variable. Label is what? Dependent variable. Sometimes the label is also called as target and sometimes called as response as well, guys. This is there. So guys, is that story clear to you now? Now can you visualize in your brain, in your mind, right? Can you create a mapping now that yes, how come, you know, we can define a machine learning. I think you, you should have a better idea around the machine learning now that exactly what the machine learning is. Maybe you have gone through different you know, definitions. Maybe you have gone through different literatures. Maybe you have gone through different videos, but I think uh, that could be one of the best, you know, simplest solution I can give you to talk about machine learning. Now, uh, up thoda sa, let's move ahead. Now a little bit, thoda sa aage chalte hain. So uh, see this now guys. Now as a, right? Uh, I'm not going to give you an example because I, I'll give you a practical example. I will write a code, right? We will train our, you know, we will do the training. We will find out the mapping function. We will do the prediction. Everything will happen, you know, practically. So just focus on the definition as of now, guys, and everything would be clear to you, right? Now, uh, generally, the machine learning is divided into two sub parts, guys, two sub parts. What is that? One area is known as supervised machine learning. And the other area is known as unsupervised machine learning. Other area is, right? unsupervised machine learning. So what are the two, you know, subcategories of the machine learning guys? One is supervised machine learning and other one is unsupervised machine learning. Okay. Then exactly guys, uh, in case of supervised machine learning, please remember guys what, what I'm saying. And, and that is the focus actually, focus of this program is on this supervised machine learning. In case of supervised machine learning problem, your data will have feature and label, right? But in case of unsupervised machine learning, you only have features, there is no label guys. Although in the basic definition we said that you will have feature, you will have label, and using that you can find out the mapping function, right? That was the basic definition, but now I'm little more clear around that. 
that in case of supervised machine learning, you will have feature, you will have a label, but in case of unsupervised learning, you will have only feature, there would be no label, no label guys. That means, right? That means that if you have feature and you know a label, you can find out the mapping function and you can perform prediction. But in case of unsupervised machine learning, because you have no access to label, label hai nahi, you only have the features. That means you cannot find out the mapping function. You cannot have mapping function, right? No mapping function. Because you only have features, you don't know the label. So because label is not known to you, so you clearly you know, cannot identify what is the mapping function. So mapping function is not there. That means you cannot perform prediction here, guys. That means in case of unsupervised machine learning, we do not perform prediction. We do something else I'll talk about later. But what I'm saying right now that in case of unsupervised machine learning, guys, you only have features in your data set. There would be no label because there is no label. So obviously you cannot find out the mapping function this time. And obviously you cannot perform the prediction as well. There is a different story there now, but we are closing that as of now. Now come to the supervised machine learning because that is our area uh, for you know uh, focus. What is there? In case of supervised, we have feature and we have label. We can identify the mapping function using algorithms, right, and perform the prediction. And supervised machine learning is also subdivided into two categories, guys. One is known as regression, and the other one is known as classification. Right, guys? One is known as regression, and the other one is known as classification. In case of regression, right? In case of regression, when we perform prediction, right, we predict a number. Hamik number predict karte hain. But in case of classification, we predict a category, we predict a class or category. Papa say example say batanga. I'll like you know give you an example, guys, what I'm saying. I'm just saying, right, that in supervised machine learning, so let me take it to another screen that would be much better. So I was now I'm on the supervised machine learning guys, only supervised machine learning. Supervised machine learning has features, has you know a label, right? And now in the supervised AML, what you have guys, there are two subcategories. One is known as regression and the other one known as classification. Predicting a continuous value, predicting a number, right, is known as regression. Let's say, uh, predicting the height, predicting the IQ, predicting the weight, predicting the salary, predicting the marks, predicting the box office collection, predicting, you know, uh, the, uh, let's say mileage, every in every example, we are going to predict a number. All of these cases are regression cases, guys. But in case of classification, you actually predict a category. Okay, what the category can be? Let's say in terms of election, right? In terms of election, the category can be winning the election or losing the election. So you are going to predict either win or lose. So these are the two categories and you can predict, you know, one category out of it, or maybe hit and flop of a movie. So again, these are the two categories hit and flop, right? So you can predict hit and flop, or maybe, you know, uh, uh, for example, uh, delay in the departure or on time departure of the flight, right? So that departure can be, you know, delayed or on time. So these are again, two categories. The categories can be, let's say there is an image and in the image, right, you have to, you know, detect whether it's a, uh, a orange or it's an apple or it's a mango, 
right? So now in this case, there are three categories or pass or fail. That is, you know, again, or uh, uh, let me take one more example. Uh, let's say uh, placed or not placed again, you know, placed or not placed is also a classification problem, right? So to make it very clear, you know, to how to differentiate between classification and regression. So let's say, uh, generally I, you, I quote this statement most of the time that there is election and, you know, uh, Netaji is, you know, Netaji is actually contesting the election. And now, you know, uh, will the Netaji win the election or lose the election? It's a classification problem, right? But with what vote count, with what vote count, he or she will win the election or lose the election is a regression problem. So when we are talking about the vote count, 5,000 votes se jite hare, right? One lakh votes se jite hare. That kind of, you know, uh, uh, performing in the prediction is regression, but exactly, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, finding out the win or loss, that's it. That is a classification. India, Cricket match jitega harega classification problem. Kitne you know a run se jitega harega that's a regression problem, guys. So guys, are you clear about the regression and classification now? That in under supervised machine learning we have two more categories of regression and classification, right? So that is there. Now, guys. As I told you, so let me go to the next screen now, right? As I told you that uh, we have, you know, now under AML, okay, just a minute. Under AML, now we have supervised machine learning and under supervised we have guys regression and we have classification now right classification now now as i told you right as i told you guys that to train the model to find out the mapping function right to find out the mapping function you can use algorithms. So there are a lot of algorithms through which we can, you know, perform regression, right? So there is an algorithm called linear regression. Now I'm telling you the names of the algorithms which we can use to perform training if it is a regression problem. If this is a regression problem, I can use linear regression. Uh, I can use decision trees right i can use random forest guys and i can use couple of other algorithms here right let's say support vector regressor as well as vr is there so these are the couple of algorithms that can be used to train your model if the problem is regression similarly for classification as well we have lot of algorithms what are those logistic regression just the name of the algorithm guys logistic right other algorithm k n n k nearest neighbor other algorithm svm support vector machine other algorithms naves that is there guys other algorithm yes decision tree and random forest decision tree and random forest and now if you don't get confused guys decision tree random forest is listed here as well and this is listed here as well that means these algorithms can be used for regression purpose as well as for classification purpose as well so guys is that a story clear to you so far that right now we are talking about the concepts around machine learning we are defining the machine learning we are finding out what is supervised what is unsupervised we are finding out what is regression we are finding out what is classification we we are now listing the algorithms that can be used for right um, 
you know, uh, um, regression and for classification. For classification, you know, guys, uh, we have logistic, we have KNN, we have SVM support vector machine, we have Naves, we have decision tree, we have random forest and couple of more, right? I'm just listing a couple of them. Uh, and regression ke liye bhi hamare paas algorithm hai. And in today's, uh, what the agenda is that, you know, we are going to understand one algorithm today and that algorithm is basically linear regression guys so guys which algorithm we are going to focus today we are going to focus on linear regression guys is 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 that okay with you guys right okay okay so are you are you guys uh, clear about the concept now what the machine learning is i think couple of people may be very new to the machine learning but now i think they should understand what the machine learning is <coughs> vansi uh, vansi are you are you okay uh, because you said sir no hindi please uh, please use english only vansi <laughs> are you okay there uh, do you hear me <laughs> Okay. Mm. Okay. Now, uh, so let's understand one uh, problem and then we'll understand uh, what is there, right? So, uh, 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 just a minute, guys because I'm uh, having power issues. So a uh, little bit of logistic issues I'm struggling. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, see this guys, I think that should be okay for you. See this guys, we have uh, on my screen now, guys, on my screen, guys, I have opened up a CSV file and the name of that CSV file is student underscore scores dot CSV. Okay. The CSV file has two columns. Okay. What are the names of the columns? One column name is hours and the other column is a score. Okay. Basically, this data has been collected from a class of 25 students and those 25 students actually prepared for exam so in the first column it is given that you know uh, a student was there who studied for 2.5 hour, hours and scored 21 marks right there was one more student who studied for 8.9 hours and scored 95 there was a candidate or a student who uh, you know uh, uh, studied for 4.8 hours and scored 54. So guys, that is the data we have. Now we call starting, you know, uh, we start calling this data uh, as a data set. So in this data set, we have two columns. One is hours and the other one is the score. A student ne kitni padhai ki, that is given in the hours column and how much he or she scored that is given in the scores column. Right. And now basically how many hours he or she has put right is actually you know a kind of x here it is independent variable here and according to that he secured marks so basically what was the input hours and what is the output a score input is hours because this is input that means it is independent variable in our case that means it is feature in our case right and a score is what what we get as the output right what we put in effort hours we put in uh, you know in studies and we get the score we get the marks right and basically if that the score is a score is now a label in our definition right and that means this is dependent variable and this is independent variable hours is x scores is y Hours is feature, is course is label. Guys, is this data set clear to you now? That what the data set it is? Okay, right? Now, because features and label, both are given to you, right? 
because features and label both are given to us that means we are in the domain of supervised machine learning now because we have features as well in our data and we have the label as well so no issues it is a supervised now what problem we are trying to solve what is the problem statement let me you know explain the problem statement with with you guys that this is the data we have guys this is the data we have right and now using machine learning what you need to tell me you need to tell me that if there is a student who you know studies for 10 hours guys then what you have to do you have to predict his score agar wo 10 ghante padhai karega to kya score hoga right that you have to predict using machine learning that is the problem statement guys so what the problem we have we have the data set with us we have the features and labels in that data now using those features and label what we have to do we have to perform training and find out the mapping function once the mapping function is there what we can do using that mapping function we will make a prediction that what would be the score if the value of x is 10 so guys is the problem statement clear to you now सभी लोग रिस्पॉन्ड कर रहे हैं जब जब मैं पूछूं सो प्लीज बताएं जिससे कि मुझे मालूम चलता रहे कि आप बीच में कहीं सो तो नहीं गए हैं राइट ओके सो दैट इज देयर राइट सो गाइस वी हैव द डेटा सेट गिवन and we have features we have you know uh, the label in our data and now we have to train and after the training we have to perform a prediction for this value that you know uh, you know uh, that what would be the score if a student you know uh, studies for 10 hours or 5 hours or 15 hours that is the concept guys is that clear that is the problem statement we have and now to solve this machine learning problem basically can you guys i have a question for you guys because i need to predict the score in this case right is will it be a regression problem or will it be a classification problem guys aap bataiye will it be a regression problem or will it be a classification problem because what you have to predict you have to predict a score and the score can be 10 a score can be 20 a score can be 20.5 a score can be 30 a score can be, a score can be 40 you know uh, anything or and if it is a number obviously it is a regression problem and in case of regression which algorithm we are going to use guys in case of regression the algorithm that we are going to use today is linear regression that is the algorithm we are going to use to train our model and use this algorithm to perform prediction for value 10 for x is equal to 10 that is there okay guys so now what what is coming up for you now it is coming up for you that now i'm going to explain what the linear regression is now i'm going to explain you what the linear regression is and how it is being used to perform the prediction guys are you are you are you excited about it that you know now we are starting uh, the algorithmic part now a little bit mathematics would be there to understand the linear regression right so uh, let's see see this guys let's say see on the screen guys let's say i have for x i have couple of values so for x i have a value one two uh, three four and five guys let's say and similarly i have couple of values in the y so when x is one y is one when x is two y is two when x is three y is also three when x is four y is four and guys when x is 5 y is also 5 so that is x guys this is our feature and this is our label x and y 
So guys, what were the relationship I'm trying to explain that when the input was one, output was one. When input was two, output was two. Input three, output three. Input four, output four and so on guys. Looking at this data guys, can you give me a prediction that what would be the Y if X is six guys? What would be the Y if X is six? What would be your prediction here guys? What would come here? Obviously six will come here. Okay, how come we can, you know, uh, you know, uh, how come we identify that this value is going to be six? How can we identify this? So let's understand this part, guys. If you remember, if you look at this data, guys, if you look at this data, can we plot this data visually, guys? Yes, we can. What we can do, let's say we use x axis for features. So we are using features here, guys, and y axis for label. Okay, that is there. And now see this, when X is one, Y is also one, so we have a one point here. When X is two, Y is also two, we have a one point here. When X is three, guys, so one, two, three, you know, uh, Y is three. When X is four, guys, right, Y is also four. And the X is five, Y is also five. So this is there, guys, one, two, uh, three, four and five. And now if you see this, this guys, right? If you see that this, these are the data points we have. And now if we connect all of these data points, we have a straight line, guys. Maybe a straight line, but actually this is a straight line, guys. This is the straight line, right? And now this straight line will help us in making the prediction. How come? See this guys, if this is the straight line we have drawn by connecting all these points and the line is a straight line, what can be the mathematical equation for this? Obviously, if it is a straight line, the mathematical equation for this would be mx plus c. And can you identify that what would be the slope? m is a slope here guys, we call m as a slope and c is basically called as intercept. We call as intercept, right? How come you can identify the value of m? m is equal to, right, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. You can have, let's say, this is your, you know, uh, this is your x1 and y1, and this is your x2 and y2, for example, right? So, ye coordinate kitne hai? These are 3 comma 3, and these coordinates are 4 comma 4. So, 4 minus 3 divided by 4 minus 3, and that's why the slope is 1. That means m is equal to 1. And because this line is passing through the horizon, right, guys, this is passing through 0 comma 0, that means your c is 0. So when m is 1 and c is 0, what would be their u equation? mx plus c. And when you have mx plus c, y is equal to 1 into x plus 0 and y is equal to x. Guys, that means our relationship, our mapping function has been identified. Guys, we have our mapping function mil gaya hai, that y is always equal to x. That means output is always equal to the input. So if I say x is equal to 6 this time, what prediction will it get? The y is equal to 6 would be there. So guys, are you okay so far that I was trying to explain you that how visually we were able to understand that drawing a straight line was helpful for us. Drawing a straight line was helpful for us to understand the relationship and finding out the mapping function and performing the prediction, guys, right? So that is there. Okay, now, now guys, uh, um, power has come so you know uh, obviously because if if you you know uh, if you pass you know if you extend this line guys right if you extend this line right this will pass on through this 0 comma 0 that means 0 comma 0 what is c exactly c is exactly like you know uh, at what distance this is you know actually cutting the y axis and because this is passing through the origins that means c is equal to 0 right so that is there. So guys, just say, uh, hold on. 
I need to uh, just power up my uh, system and then we are going to start again. Okay. Okay. I'm okay there. Just to hold on, guys. Uh, two minutes. Hmm. So, guys. The approach, please, you know, guys, is my screen visible to you now? I'm, uh, I'm uh, you know, I'm ready. Okay, okay. Sir, your spider is not visible, sir. No, it, it is, uh, I'm only looking at, uh, uh, I'm just the pad screen. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, guys, Guys, remember what I said that how using the previous data, we were able to draw this straight line and using this straight line, we got to know the values of M, right? And values of the C. And finally, we were able to find out this mapping, this relationship. And using this relationship, now we were able to make the prediction that if the X is six, Y would also be the six. That is you know, one of the simplest form of your algorithm that is linear regression, guys. This is the simplest form of explaining the linear regression to you that linear regression always, always draws a straight line to perform the prediction for you guys. Guys, are you clear about this? That, you know, uh, uh, guys, is my screen clear to you? Uh, is, is, is my, uh, uh, you know, uh, writing pad uh, visible to you guys? Is it clear? Okay, okay yeah. Hmm. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Just a minute, guys. I, I think uh, uh, some issue. Uh, just a minute. Like, I think let me, let me share the screen. Probably some issue with that screen, guys. Okay, so uh, okay, guys, is that clear now? Is 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 <laughs> okay? So your, your, uh, your sketch is open now, sir. Okay, my sketch is open now. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, Just a minute, guys. Uh, okay, and my spider is visible now, yeah, right? Yeah, spider is visible now. Okay, okay. Take care. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. So, guys. <clears throat> Many apko ye explain kiya the you know the thing that I have explained to you was the simplest form of linear regression. And linear regression, we always and always draw a straight line. There is no other option uh, as of now that in a simple linear regression, we are always going to draw a straight line. Guys, are you okay so far? Are you are you clear around this? Because now I'm going to give a little twist to the story. Okay, got it. Thank you. Now see guys. That in the previous example, I took X as this and Y as this. Right? Y as this. And I was able to draw the straight line. Because by just connecting all the points, I was able to draw the line. 
okay what happens if we have something like this guys x is there one two three four and five and now let's say y is something like this uh, so let's say y is a uh, uh, four uh, when x is one uh, uh, you know y is uh, uh, let's say uh, you know uh, five when x is two uh, let's say y is uh, uh, you know uh, two when x is three and let's say when x is four it is you know let's say ten and when x is five let's say it is uh, seven for example guys what i'm saying now this time your data set is little different your x values are one two three four and five and correspondingly right if you if you see when your x is one y is four x is two y is you know uh, you know uh, five uh, when you know x is three y is this and now if we draw guys now if we draw here so this is one this is two this is three this is four and this is five guys right and now when x is one what is the value of y so let's take these examples here so we have one we have two we have three we have four and we have five here guys so when the x is one so when we have x is one what is the value of y guys so we have the value of y so this is our point this is our point guys right when the uh, x is two uh, y is equal to five so when x is two guys so this is our point here right when the x is three guys y is equal to two so this is our point here guys because two is mapping here guys when the uh, you know uh, x is four uh, y is equal to ten so you know bahut upar chala gaya so but maybe let's change it so maybe we can make it uh, something uh, three okay so we can you know probably make it three or something like that so uh, when you know your x is uh, uh, four uh, y is uh, three so this is the point guys right and when the x is five Your y is seven, so somewhere here it may be right. So यहाँ पे रख सकते हैं. So kind of that. So these are points, guys. Couple of points, five points, guys. Can we now draw a straight line which passes through every point now, guys? Is it possible that we can draw a straight line and all you know it passes through all the points, guys? Is that possible? This time it is not possible because there is no way. guys there is no way that we can draw a straight line but linear regression linear regression is always about drawing a straight line guys linear regression is always about drawing a straight line that means guys that means now we draw a straight line but obviously that straight line will not pass through these points that a straight line can be this that a straight line can be this or that a straight line can be this there can be lot of possibilities now guys there can be lot of possibilities so guys are you are you okay with this problem now that now the data distribution is like this that it is not possible to draw a straight line which passes through every point and now we have to find out a way that what straight line would be the perfect straight line or a best fit line for us ab hame us line ki talash hai right us line ki talash hai that would be the best line in this scenario guys obviously that line will never pass through all of the points wo sabhi points se nahi guzregi so now ab usko thoda sa hum thoda sa aur explain karte hain so let's see this guys see this see this guys i have a couple of points here for you these are the points right uh, same 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 points here couple of you know points just uh, another visual and couple of same points here guys point wahi hai bas main alag alag dikha raha hu teen alag alag figures mein the distribution of the data is same same guys so here x axis is there y axis is there x axis is there guys y axis is there x axis is there and y axis is there see this right and now guys Uh, let me uh, draw a straight line for this uh, a case so maybe i'm i'm saying that this is my line this is the line i'm going to use okay i say no 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 i'm going to use this line actually okay and then i say oh okay i'm going to use uh, this line that would be my line actually guys so now there are three candidates 
guys, three candidates that this is one of the line, let's say this is L1 and this is L2 guys and this is line L3, right? That now we have to, you know, we can have, you know, infinite number of combinations in this way, but I'm only going to discuss the three combinations as of now, guys. Okay, what is your idea that guys, how we can select that which line would be the best line? Will this line would be the best line for us? Or will this line would be the best line for us? Or will this line would be the best line for us? Guys, what is your say? Data distribution is same, right? But what you say that which line would be the best line for us? Okay, let me come to a little mathematics now, guys, right? Little mathematics, you know, uh, uh, let, let me see. Now we have to bring a little mathematics, guys, here, you know. Uh, please listen, everybody, right? See this. To find out that which line is the best fit line, we can do one thing, guys. We can do one thing. Can we identify, okay, let's say, what is the distance of this, vertical distance of this point from this? So let's say the vertical distance of this point from this line is D1, okay? So let's say it is uh, uh, D1, guys. The vertical distance of this point from this line is D2. The vertical distance is D3 and the vertical distance for this point is D4, okay? Similarly, I can calculate that uh, uh, here, you know, uh, this distance is also there, guys. So, uh, D5, this is D5. So similarly here, guys, this is, you know, let's say X1, this distance is X2, this is X3, this is X4, and this is X5, for example. I say, isko maan lete hai ki this distance is, let's say, Y1, this is Y2, this vertical distance is y3, this vertical distance is y4, and this vertical distance is y5. And how to calculate these vertical distances? The vertical distance calculation is very easy, guys. Let me take one example here. So let's say we have a, a line this, this is the line, guys, right? And there is a point which has a coordinate, let's say 4, 5. So x is 4. We go there, go there, and touch to this line. So we have a deflection here. So let's say this point is 2. Okay, but the actual coordinate is this, actual point is this. So we have to calculate this distance, that what is this vertical distance? Can you calculate this vertical distance, guys? Actually, it is y is here and actually using this line. So basically, what is the distance would be? Five minus two would be the vertical distance, right? So similarly, we can calculate the distances for every other point. This distance is sometimes called as residue, guys. What we call this as a, you know, we call this distance as residue. And if the point is below the line, this would be negative, guys, right? This value would be negative. If the point is above the line, the point would be, you know, uh, positive. The value would be the positive. If the value, if the point is below the line, that would be a negative case, right? So now see this guys, what we are trying to do. Our best fit line would be that line which has, you know, uh, the average of these distances, guys. If we calculate the average of these distances here, average of these distances here, and average of these distances here, which is giving the minimum value. Kaunsi straight line muje average minimum deti hai, that would be the best fit line. And to remove out this positive or, you know, you know negative concept, we calculate the square of every distance, guys. So in this particular case, what we are trying to identify, we are finding out D1 square plus D2 square plus D3 square plus D4 square plus D5 square divided by total count. That is five points. That is the average distance in this particular case, guys. What would be the average distance in this case? That would be x1 square, x2 square, x3 square, x4 square, x5 square divided by five. That would be the average distance here, mean distance, mean. And similarly here, what would be the mean distance or average distance? y1 square, y2 square, y3 square, y4 square, y5 square divided by five. If this distance is minimum, we keep this line as a best fit line. If this distance is minimum, 
we keep this line as a best fit line. If this distance comes minimum, so we can make a comparison, like making a comparison is very easy in mathematics, right? So using that which has given us the, you know, minimum, you know, uh, average, that would be our best fit line. So guys, now are you clear around the idea that if your data distribution is like this, how you can select the best fit line, how you find out the best fit line and what is the mechanism to find out the best fit line? We calculate the square of every vertical distance, square of residues and divide, it, divide them by the total count, right? Generally, this kind of equation is called as MSE mean squared error guys mean squared error why error because sometimes this residue is called as error as well why we are calling the residue or this distance as error uh, guys because if this line right this line was the perfect line if this line was the perfect line, this distance would have been zero. Agar ye line, aisi line hoti jo ekdam bahut sahi, you know, tarikhe se har point se guzar rahi hai, this ye ye distance kitni honi chahiye thi? This distance would have been zero, guys. Right? So our target is that this distance should always be minimum. The average of these distances should always be minimum. That is the target of a best fit line. Right, and this equation in machine learning is called as MSE mean squared error. So, guys, is linear regression uh, you know clear to you that what we are going to do now? That if you want to perform a linear regression on a data, kya karna padega? you will have to draw a straight line, and once the straight line is drawn, what you can identify, right? If the straight line has been there. Now you can find out what is the M and what is the C, right? What is the M and C? And now exactly we can do this. Okay, because now guys, there are infinite number of possibilities, right? If I, if I summarize now guys, if I summarize the linear regression to you, now C. If I summarize the linear regression to you, that what would be the case, guys? Right? These are the points. Okay? And now we have to find out the best fit line. Okay, what would be the best fit line? Who would be the best fit line? Best fit line would be that line for which, you know, we have M and C like this. Right, us line ke M and C kaise hain? Jis ke liye D1 square, D2 square, D3 square, D4 square, D5 square divided by 5 is minimum. For, you know, for which M and C we have the minimum value of this function, right? This, this can be called as a function now, guys. Is function ko kaise hain? Last function ya cost function. Cost function ya lost function. So in case of a linear regression, we have to focus on this equation, and this equation is called as lost function, a uh, loss function, or you know, cost function. And how to minimize the losses, how to minimize the cost for we have to draw a best fit line. That means we have to identify the value of M and C in such a way that we always get the minimum of this expression. And who identifies the M and C for us? There is a algorithm in you know, a machine learning. That algorithm is known as gradient descent. Kya kehte isko guys? <clears throat> gradient descent. So what is that? Gradient descent is a mechanism through which we can optimize this function and how to optimize the function. That means we are trying to identify the optimal values of M and C that will always give us the minimum of this function. Guys, I'm going to repeat this act. 
हम अब लीनियर रिग्रेशन में सिंपली यही कर रहे हैं कि जो वर्टिकल डिस्टेंसेस के स्क्वायर का एवरेज हमने निकाला है राइट right? अब इस उस तरीके से तो हमारे पास इन्फाइनाइट लाइंस हो सकती हैं हम कैसे चूज करेंगे कि कौन सी लाइन सबसे सही लाइन है राइट right? तो अब हमें वो लाइन चूज करनी है जिसके एम और सी की वजह से इस फंक्शन का वैल्यू मिनिमम आना चाहिए एंड हु इज गोइंग टू आइडेंटिफाई द एम एंड सी फॉर अस देर इज अ मेथड इन एवरी मशीन लर्निंग that is known as gradient descent gradient descent is a optimization technique in mathematics gradient descent ho gaya newton's method ho gaya these are the optimization methods why we are using optimization method here because we have to optimize this function why we want to optimize this function because we have to draw the best fit line why we are drawing a best fit line because that would be used to perform the predictions guys are you clear now guys about the linear regression clear hua ya upar se nikal gaya guys upar se nikal gaya hai ya fir kuch clear hua hai <laughs> okay so now lot of people are saying uh, uh, clear 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 so i'm i'm hopeful guys uh, that means i i was able to make you understand right <laughs> i was able to make you understand that you know uh, right <laughs> so that is, is there so uh, uh, you know uh, so what was you know uh, okay last uh, story uh, around this guys that um, what was just a minute do i have a image for you I just wanted to show you one image actually. Uh, just a minute. Uh, Okay, just a minute. Okay, I got the image. Hmm. See this, guys. See on the uh, screen now, guys. The least square regression, you know, uh, that uh, linear regression we are talking about. is the line that makes the sum of the squares of the vertical distance of the data points from from the line as small as possible so we have to minimize this and how we minimize it using gradient descent we can minimize it right and yes bhaskaran you are right uh, a per perpendicular distance of the vertical distance is there right so these are the vertical distances so that is there guys so now let's try to you know uh, come to ab hum apne problem pe chalte hain that how we can you know uh, use linear regression to solve our problem how we can use linear regression to solve our problem guys right? so let's see this hamare paas if you remember guys that was the data that was the feature that was the label guys राइट सो नाउ लेट्स कम टू द कोडिंग पार्ट नाउ गाइस सबसे पहले हम क्या करेंगे फर्स्ट वी हैव टू लोड द डेटा गाइस फर्स्ट वी हैव टू लोड द डेटा सो हाउ टू लोड द डेटा व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ आवर फाइल गाइस स्टूडेंट इज कोर्स डॉट सीएसवी सो लेट्स रिमूव दिस पार्ट इट वाज जस्ट यूज्ड फॉर एक्सप्लेनेशन पर्पस गाइस सी दिस सो वी हैव दिस गाइस नाउ आई एम राइटिंग द कोड इन डेट 2.py ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड अ फाइल okay to start with always import the libraries that you have that you want to have so what are the three libraries that we always use guys pandas numpy and matplotlib so let's import pandas as you know a pd okay import a numpy as you know a np and what was the third library guys matplotlib right so import uh matplotlib dot pyplot if you remember 
as plt so these are the three libraries guys okay and now what we are going to do we are going to load the data so ab data ko kahan se load karenge using which method guys do you remember which method we used yesterday to load the data from a csv file what was the method that we used yesterday read csv guys right so that was there's how to do that pd dot read csv and what was the name of our file a student scores right a student scores dot csv that is there and now we can store this in a variable let's say called data set so humne ek data set mein isko store kar liya see this guys what would be uh, the <coughs> csv like you know comma separated values if you remember from yesterday's guys right these values are separated by comma that means these column values are separated by comma the first column value separated by comma with the second column value right and so on so guys that is the csv file we have and now we we are able to read it guys do you know what would be the type of this data set kal humne baat ki thi iske bare mein ki jab bhi we have read csv se data leke aaoge what would be the type here it would be a क्या होगा ये डेटा इसका इट वुड बी अ डेटा फ्रेम गाइस इफ यू रिमेंबर गाइस ये एक डेटा फ्रेम है राइट दैट इज द डेटा फ्रेम वी हैव एंड नाउ इफ इट इज अ डेटा फ्रेम वी कैन परफॉर्म यू नो लेट्स से व्हाट इज द डेटा सेट डॉट शेप हम पता कर सकते हैं कि क्या शेप है कितनी रोज इन कॉलम्स है सी दिस गाइस इट सेज 25 रोज इन टू कॉलम्स राइट we can also find out the andim as well guys data set dot andim see this it is to that means two dimensional data and now this is your data set guys this is the data set you have now guys as a next step guys as a next step what we have to do let's try to plot the data ek bar hum data ko plot karke dekhte hain and we'll try try to find out that if we can identify a straight line or a best fit line so how to do that guys uh, in the uh, you know uh, pandas uh, only we have a plot method guys plot method is there data set that is data frame and in the data frame i'm calling a method plot right and now in the plot i have to tell that on x axis what you want on the x axis i want features the so features kiske andar hai mere इस कॉलम के अंदर और इस कॉलम का नाम क्या है आवर्स एंड दैट्स व्हाई एक्स इज इक्वल टू आवर्स सो ऑन द एक्स एक्सिस आई एम गोइंग टू टेक द आवर्स एंड ऑन द वाई एक्सिस आई एम गोइंग टू टेक द स्कोर सो स्कोर्स आर देयर गाइस सो सी दिस गाइस दिस इज द फीचर दिस इज द लेबल दिस इज इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल दिस इज डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल दिस इज एक्स दिस इज वाई राइट सो नाउ सी दिस गाइस कैन बी प्लॉट इट सी दिस ओह can you see this guys ye sare you know ek point se dusra point connect ho gaya dusra point se teesra you know zigzag koi jyada kam ho raha na value aage piche hoti ja rahi hai so this is not a very good deal so i think we should need to introduce a style ki aapko style kaisa chahiye so i say just you know need to draw uh, let's say dots mujhe sirf wo coordinates draw karke de do so now see this guys what happens if i draw this so can you see this guys now now this is very clear on the x axis we have the hours on the y axis we have the scores and these are the points these are the total 25 points and now out of these points we have to draw a straight line that is linear regression guys that is the linear regression but before we apply the linear regression we have couple of activities to do and what are these activities first we have to separate out the features and we have to separate out the labels from the data set abhi data frame mein dono cheeze aapko malum hai kal humne kuch aisa use kiya tha uh, data set uh, dot for example if you remember guys uh, agar aapko pehle column se data chahiye to kaise kiya tha usko are you are you uh, क्लियर अराउंड दिस गाइस कि हमने कुल कुछ कुछ ऐसा किया था कल डेटा सेट आवर्स दैट वाज देयर गाइस राइट सो बेसिकली दिस इज आवर फीचर राइट एंड दूसरा क्या था डेटा सेट डॉट डॉट नहीं लगाते हैं व्हाट वाज दैट स्कोर्स सो दैट वाज देयर गाइस वी गॉट द स्कोर्स एज वेल सो वी कैन कैलकुलेट दिस वे दैट फीचर्स आर 
सो so, मैं एक वेरिएबल ले रहा हूँ फीचर जिसमें मैं क्या डालूंगा आवर्स का डेटा आवर्स का डेटा कैसे मिलेगा डेटा सेट डेटा सेट में कौन सा कॉलम था हमारा आवर्स सी दिस गाइस सी दिस आवर्स राइट सो वी हैव द फीचर्स हियर बट फीचर्स को जब हम प्रिंट कर रहे हैं तो देखो जरा यहाँ पे एक चीज हो रही है फीचर्स को जब हम प्रिंट कर रहे हैं तो हमारे साथ इंडेक्स भी हमें मिल रहा है वी आर गेटिंग द इंडेक्स एज वेल दैट इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड इन एक्चुअल डेटा वी आर ओनली इंटरेस्टेड इन दीज वैल्यूज 2.5, 5.1, 3.2 एंड सो ऑन सो व्हाट वी कैन डू आई कैन गेट ए वन मोर फंक्शन कॉल्ड डॉट वैल्यूज गाइज यू नो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज डॉट वैल्यूज वेन आई अप्लाई डॉट वैल्यू दिस इंडेक्स विल गो अवे इंडेक्स गायब हो जाएगा और सिर्फ एक्चुअल डेटा रहेगा सो लेट्स अगेन रन दिस गाइज फीचर्स एंड नाउ फीचर्स को अगर हम यहां पर देखेंगे सी दिस गाइज कैन यू सी दिस गाइज नाउ कैन यू सी दिस इज देयर राइट सो नाउ वी गॉट द एन डी एर ओनली सो वॉट वी हैव डन आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इट अगेन गाइज मैं डेटा सेट पे जा रहा हूं दैट इज माई डेटा फ्रेम आउट ऑफ माई डेटा फ्रेम आई एम ओनली इंटरेस्टेड इन इन द कॉलम आवर्स कॉलम बिकॉज दैट इज माई फीचर दैट इज माई इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल राइट and dot value se maine actual data kiya similarly can i calculate the labels as well guys labels yes i calculate the labels as well how to calculate the labels data set that is the name of the data frame i'm going to take the name of the column what is the name of the column guys the scores and then dot values so that is there guys dot values and see this labels dot values so now see you have the labels guys You could have used the iloc method as well, right? Iloc method से भी आप ये काम कर सकते थे. You could have done that as well. Okay, guys, do you know what is the shape of the feature and the label, guys? So features dot shape देखें जरा क्या है? Twenty five comma. That means it's a one dimensional data only, right? Features dot endim. See this. Okay, what is the labels dot endim? Again, one dimensional data. And what is the uh, labels dot shape, guys? Twenty five rows. only no column information so guys are you okay so far that what we have done we have loaded the data to start with basically we imported the libraries first then we read the data first then we plotted the data to know you know what kind of data exactly it is and then now we are separating out the features and labels from our data features and labels from our data okay and now guys i have features and label तो मैंने आपको क्या बोला था वॉट आई टोल्ड यू इन द बिगनिंग दैट इफ यू हैव द फीचर्स एंड लेबल राइट यू कैन यूज ए एलगोरथम राइट सो इफ यू हैव द फीचर्स एंड द लेबल्स इन योर डेटा यू कैन फाइंड आउट द मैपिंग फंक्शन एंड टू मैपिंग फंक्शन यू कैन यूज ए एलगोरथम विच एलगोरथम वी आर यूजिंग नाउ गाइज लीनियर रिग्रेशन इज द एलगोरथम दैट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज ओके so now i want to know that how i can use this algorithm ab main is algorithm ko kaise use karu how to use that so guys we already know three libraries what are these libraries pandas is there numpy is there right matplotlib is there now i am going to introduce a one more library with you guys main ek aur library aapko batane wala hu and that library is called as scikit learn sci kit learn what is that library in the code we re refer to it as sk learn hum code mein kaise refer karenge isko sk learn refer karenge aur isko bolte kya hai we, we you know uh, call it as sci kit learn but it is sk learn okay what is this basically all of the algorithms for regression all of the algorithms for classification all of the algorithms for unsupervised machine learning as well all of these libraries has been implemented right and they have been written into this library sql learn it is similarly like this that i implement uh, insertion sort right i implement insertion sort and i create a dot header file in c programming let's say i create a dot header file with the dot h extension so what would be the case now that anyone can use my dot header file if he wants to call the insertion sort for sorting the data guys are you okay with this what i'm telling you ki abhi humne kya kiya insertion sort algorithm ko implement kiya 
now we created a dot header file for it and that dot header file can be used by anyone they can include that header file and directly call the insertion short method here similarly what has been done here as well guys that all the algorithm has been implemented and they have been written as a class there scikit learn contains a class for every algorithm that we are going to discuss similarly scikit learn library also has a class with the name linear regression a class uske paas hai linear regression ke naam se that class has the implementation of the linear regression we can directly use this class and solve our problem so now guys are you clear that i have introduced a one more library for you and what is the name of that library guys the name of that library is scikit learn or code mein usko hum log kya bol rahe hain sk learn so now guys i am going to import my class ab main us class ko leke aane wala hu jiske andar algorithm chupa hua hai so how to do that guys from sk learn dot linear model so it is a linear regression actually right so linear model import linear regression see this guys what i am going from this library right so you know uh, guys this is there from sk learn dot linear model right and import linear you know regression so that is there guys so iska matlab kya hai iska matlab ye hai ki scikit learn library mein se sirf hum kis class ko import kar rahe hain linear regression class ko import kar so let's see if that is possible or not okay we are able to import now guys if you remember from your object oriented programming concepts that if you want to use a class in your code guys right if you want to you know use a class in your code what you have to do do you have to create a object of that kya aap kisi class ko tabhi use kar sakte ho jab uska object ban jata hai right so now you have to create the object of linear regression class so how to how we can create a object now guys how we can create a object now so let's create a object now so humne apni class ko import kar liya hai and now we are using that class to create the object and now to create the object what you call guys you call the constructor and the name of the constructor is always same as the name of the class class or constructor ka naam same hota hai so now guys we are going to call linear regression iske constructor ko call karte hain aur iske object ko ek naam de dete hain let's say regressor so this is linear regression this is guys now this object would be called as model in our case is machine learning mein is object ko bolte hain model what we call you guys model so what is the name of your model name of your model is regressor name of your object is called as model now guys isko hum model kehte hain and now this is the model we have and now we have created the object or we have created a model but we have to pass on the data isko data to batana padega tabhi to wo best fit line draw kar sakti hai like algorithm the data has not been given yet isko humne abhi tak data nahi diya hai data was there in features and labels we have the features we have the labels but the data is not given to this as of now this model is empty it has no idea that how to draw a straight line because data is not with him data is not with it right so how we can pass on the data to it we can pass on a function called fit so regressor that is the you know object name dot fit and in the fit actually we call you know our features and labels guys this is the features and labels we have see this regressor dot fit 
basically what is happening here in the fit method we are training our model because so far the model is empty it has no idea how to draw a straight line because it requires a data and now we need to pass on the data to it how to pass on the data using fit method what would happen inside the fit method basically using this data set now it will draw a best fit line for us it will draw a best fit line for us and once it identifies the best fit line for us guys right it will give us that what is the value of slope and what is the value of intercept of your line agar humne ek bar ye data isko de diya to ye hame kya bata ke dega ki this is the slope of your line and this is the slope of your uh, this is the intercept and this is the slope so how to do that guys so let's see this regressor dot fit features and labels so see this what happens in that case okay we got a error now guys there is a error let's everybody focus on this it is saying expected a 2d array and got 1d array ye keh raha hai ki mujhe to 2d array chahiye tha aapne mujhe 1d array diya hai kaun sa array bata raha hai 2.5 5.1 kiska part tha if you remember guys these are the features can you see this guys these are the features it is saying that feature has to be in two dimensional as of now your feature is a one dimensional so guys did you understand the problem why the error came error kyon aaya hai error isliye aaya hai kyunki wo data usko chahiye two dimensional space mein aur hamara data kis mein hai it is in one dimensional can we reshape this data guys can we reshape it yes we can reshape it how we can reshape it features dot रीशेप कर सकते हैं क्या नहीं कर सकते कैन वी डू दैट गाइस रीशेप अलाउड है या नहीं है ट्वेंटी फाइव कॉमा वन बिकॉज ट्वेंटी फाइव रोज है वी जस्ट नीड टू एड वन कॉलम टू इट कैन वी डू दैट लेट्स रन इट इफ इट इज वर्किंग ओके सो नाउ गाइस हमने इसको वापस से फीचर्स में ही असाइन कर दिया सी दिस गाइज फीचर्स and now can we check what is the shape of our features guys see this it is 25 comma can we call it again now because the issue has been fixed and if issue has been fixed we should be able to fit the model now see this guys yes it worked now guys ek problem aa rahi thi ki wo 1d mein tha data now we converted that data into using a reshape and now it has been fit isko humne fit kar diya and now once the fitting has been done is fitting ko kehte hain training of the model guys hamesha yaad rakhiye we call this as training of the model isko humne bol diya training of the model right once the training has been done that means it has identified the best fit line isne andar hi andar best fit line draw kar li hai and how to find out the slope now how we can find out the slope guys so now we can find out the slope using a property regressor dot coefficient slope pata kaise karenge is property ke through c o e f is a coefficient to dekhiye kitna aa raha hai m m ki value kitni aa rahi hai guys this is the value of m so we can store the m here so m is equal to this so this is m guys so we got the slope okay how we can identify the value of c c is equal to regressor dot intercept intercept guys underscore so see this that is the c so c kitna aaya this so now once we have m and c with us ab humne m aur c ka pata kar liya hai can we perform the prediction now guys can we perform the prediction what we were looking for ki bhaiya batao what is the score if x is equal to 10 agar x ki value 10 hai what is your score so can we identify that guys yes now we can find out that using y is equal to mx c mx plus c ko use karte hue we can find out the value so what is the value of m m is there what is the value of c c is there what is the value of x 10 so now guys i'm going to perform this so uh, m multiplied with the 10 that is there guys right so this is there kitna aaya 97 plus is me c bhi add karna padega so we are going to add c here so let me you know see this plus c 
और मैं इसको क्या बोलता हूँ ये स्कोर हुआ बच्चे का स्कोर है जो कब आएगा जब वो दस घंटे पढ़ाई कर रहा है सो नाउ दैट वुड बी द स्कोर गाइज दैट मीन्स नाउ गाइज वी आर एबल टू सक्सेसफुली प्रिडिक्ट दैट वॉट वुड बी द स्कोर इफ he studies for 10 hours what would be the score if he studies for 5 hours let's say so we just need to multiply by the 5 and see this that would be the score guys so ab ye score aayega guys but we do not have to calculate m and c separately we have a predict method directly guys hamare paas ek predict method directly hai to main manual karke aapko bata raha tha we have a predict method directly so what is the predict method guys regressor dot predict right and in the predict it says what you want to predict i say i want to predict uh, the score for 10 ki 10 10 ghante ki padhai mein kya rahega so see this guys what is the oh we got the error again what is that expected 2d array wo ye keh raha hai aapne 10 aise hi pass kar diya it has to be in two dimensional so how we can do that so x is equal to 10 x is equal to 10 the integer hai dekho zara yahan pe type of x is integer to kya kar sakte hain can we convert this into a uh, nd array how we can convert this into nd array so first we need to write 10 in the list form guys kal ka remember yaad karo kal humne kya kiya tha list ko num p mein convert kiya tha to kaise kiya tha if x is a list now so we can call np dot array kya pass kiya isko x aur wapas x mein hi assign kar diya so now your x is nd array guys see this it's nd array now what what is the shape x ka shape kya hai dekhe zara one comma jab ki isko data kaisa chahiye two dimensional to one comma one hona chahiye to kya karenge ab iska x is equal to x dot reshape aur kya bol denge one comma one ke bhaiya mera data two dimensional mein convert kar do so now x dot shape is see this one comma one and now we can pass on this value to x and see this array 100 so guys is the story uh, uh, clear thoda sa tight hai yahan pe but ek bar to tight hona padega like ek bar to injection mein lagega to jab dard hoga aap logon ko right but uske baad pain khatam ho jayega right ek bar to kadbi goli khani padegi that is the way so i'm just going to quickly recap what we did guys we loaded the data frame then we separated out the features and label that is the story for every day now guys ye roz karna padega hame jab bhi hame problem solve karni ho so guys we loaded the data right we got the features and label separated then we imported the right uh, you know a class for us then we created the object of the class then we you know uh, went for fitting the model but in fitting the model there was a issue so we had to reshape the features and then finally we were able to make a prediction using predict method that is the case guys kya yahan tak aap logon ko kuch maza waza aaya ya nahi aaya bhaiyo kya kahani ho gayi aaj ki so features must be two dimensional because that is required by the you know uh, लाइब्रेरी लाइब्रेरी वन डायमेंशनल डेटा को अलाउ नहीं करता इट हैज टू बी टू डायमेंशनल डेटा ओनली राइट सो गाइस आज तो हवा टाइट है या चल रही है मामला इज इट वन सी आर यू देयर कैन यू हियर मी So Ravi Misra is saying, "Sir, just do this. Once you can, you understand now. Is it clear to you now? <laughs> hmm. Okay. So uh, that is there. Okay. 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 once he saying sir why are you laughing every time <laughs> because i'm i'm just laughing because uh, once he uh, story is very complex so in between you have to laugh so that you know people get comfortable when you when they they hear you right so <laughs> so uh, that is there so amma you can convert that label in 2d as well right no issues 
but if it is even in the 1D, that will work, but you can convert into that as well, right? So, uh, yeah, Chandra, Chandra Sai, uh, that will work. Only the linear regression will work, right? So, uh, that is the case, guys. So, uh, so uh, this is uh, there, guys. So, guys, let me quickly recap. Ek bar recap kar lete hai because now you know. Uh, uh, I think we are close to six now, right? And. Uh, you can do one code challenge as well, guys. Aaj aapka ek code challenge bhi hai, uh, linear regression ke over, right? Uh, so, so uh, uh, Dr. Sylvester, is the assignment has been uploaded there on the day two? Yes, sir. All the data is uploaded there. Everything hmm. is uploaded on day two, sir. Can you hear me, sir? What you say? Everything is uploaded on day two. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. So that is uh, there, guys. That is, you know. Uh... <clears throat> so, guys, now what is for tomorrow? First, you know, what is for tomorrow? Tomorrow, again, we are going to take the story further. Ham log we, we will continue with the linear regression tomorrow as well. Kal hum fir se linear regression ki baat karenge, right? And tomorrow we will talk about that what happens if you have more than one feature. Guys, are you, are you getting me? Tomorrow we will talk about that what happens if you have more than one feature. Today we only had one feature. Aaj ke din sirf ek hi feature tha hours. But what happens if you are having more than you know one feature in your data guys right so that we are going to talk about uh, uh, tomorrow and we are also going to talk about a uh, one more approach that is called as a uh, train test split usko hum log train test split kehte hain wo baat bhi hum kal karenge aaj hum uske bare mein baat nahi karenge right so that is there so guys Aaj kitni clarity aapko aai. How much clarity did you, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, got today? So I'm not going to continue with the doubt session today. We, we are, you know, we will uh, do the doubt session tomorrow, guys. Aaj mujhe thoda sa level aap batayenge. Can you give me the score that what is your score today for uh, today's class? <laughs> what is your, you know, uh, uh, so... Someone saying 80%, someone saying 10.5, someone saying 6, uh, someone saying 7, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Nikhil Mathur saying 8.5, Mohammed Samir saying 90%, Rajat Jalandar saying 10 on 10, okay. Paribhi saying, sir, enjoyed the code session especially. Uh, Lucky Parik saying 10, Radha Rajput saying 70, uh, uh, Aditya uh, saying 99, Raghav Singh saying 8.5, uh, uh, Nalin, uh, Nalin saying, sir, uh, practice karunga. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Deepak Vare saying 9, Deepika Singh 7. Okay. Dhruvanda saying more than 60%. Okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, uh, that is there. Okay, guys, so uh, uh, I think uh, now the practice is required from your end as well, guys, you know, uh, Vivek saying, sir, this is the best session I have ever attended. Okay, uh, Ananya Agrawal saying seven on 10. Uh, okay, Sumit saying 83 point sum sum. <laughs> okay, Naman uh, Mamudia saying 6.5, Shivani saying seven, Yogi saying sir, 200, uh, uh, you know, uh, saying uh, uh Shubhpreet, uh saying sir interesting tha but practical kam tha obviously first we have to understand the basic fundamentals Shubhpreet. uh 
उससे पहले आप प्रैक्टिकल्स में नहीं जा सकते पहले आपको एक यू नो यू हैव टू क्रिएट ए फाउंडेशन फर्स्ट एंड देन ओनली यू कैन गो देयर एंड अंडरस्टैंड द प्रैक्टिकल अदरवाइज प्रैक्टिकल में कुछ भी समझ में नहीं आएगा शुभप्रीत राइट सो सो यू नो आशी बंसल सिंह के दिस इज माई फर्स्ट क्लास तो आज मुझे बहुत कम समझ में आया आशी बंसल आई थिंक यू कैन वॉच द रिकॉर्डेड सेशन ऑन द यूट्यूब आशी आप यू नो रिकॉर्डेड सेशन को यू नो आप देखिए एंड देन यू नो सी दिस सो मोहित कह रहे हैं कि सर बाकी का जो है प्रैक्टिस करके आ जाएगा दैट्स वेरी गुड जय दर्शनी सेइंग दिस केस दिस क्लास इज सो नाइस एंड इंटरेस्टिंग थैंक यू जया शर्मा सेइंग सर बेस्ट फॉर द बिगिनर मनीकांता सिंह सर आई एंजॉयड द सेशन राइट सो आई थिंक यू नो so guys uh, for today's assignment if i explain you the today's assignment what the assignment uh, we have so guys uh, this is uh, today's assignment please listen right there is a problem on linear regression for you guys aapko ek csv file di gayi hai bahubali versus dangal dot csv right bahubali versus uh, you know uh, uh, dangal.csv and what that file is all about let me show you that file guys uh bahubali you know versus see this guys see this it is saying you that on the day one bahubali collected this much money and you know uh, uh, dangal collected this much money on the day two you know uh, bahubali collected this much money and dangal this and so on now you have to predict guys you have to predict that what would be the collection of bahubali and dangal on day 10 guys are you getting this statement guys ye data set diya hua hai right uh you know uh this data set has been given to you and now you have to identify the feature and the label what you can do guys here in this case your days will work as a feature and you can take these two columns as label guys you can take days as a feature and you can take these two columns as label okay now you have to take two columns actually or otherwise you can create two separate models once one separate model for bahubali in that case this days would be a feature and the bahubali column would be the label and you can create uh, another uh, you know a uh, regressor for dangal where the day would be the feature and the dangal collection would be the label so ya to dono ko separate karke bana sakte hain aur fir compare kar sakte hain ki kya result rahe dono mein aur hum ye bhi kar sakte hain ki day ko feature bana de aur baki dono columns ko label bana de that will also work guys so uh, i hope guys is is problem clear to you is the problem clear to you guys ठीक है सो इस तरीके से आज की कहानी है दैट इज स्टोरी फॉर टुडे गाइस एंड यस आशी बट एज ऑफ नाउ यू कांट कंप्लेन बिकॉज यू आर लेट इन द क्लास राइट सो पहली अगर आपने दो क्लासेस अटेंड की हुई होती तो आपको समझ में जरूर आता अविनास रेड्डी सिंह सर कैन प्लीज स्पीक इन इंग्लिश ओके सुमित आई विल डू दैट टुमारो यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द विजुलाइजेशन आई विल डू दैट विजुलाइजेशन टुमारो डोंट वरी नो नो आशी आई एम नॉट आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट यू आर कंप्लेनिंग इट्स जस्ट इट वाज जस्ट अ सजेशन Please join. Yeah, I, 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 yes, I, it is difficult to focus, guys. It is very, very difficult to focus continuously for two hours, right? कितने लोग पूरे दो घंटे focus कर पा रहे हैं? I guess, I guess, like you know, a problem तो रहता है, but I think, uh, फिर भी आप सो नहीं पाए होंगे. That I can guarantee you guys. भले ही दो घंटे का session है, फिर भी आप सो नहीं पाए होंगे. You know that I can guarantee you. So. it is you know uh, it takes time right it takes efforts guys right 
uh, effort karenge then you will you know learn the things so uh, it's not about watching a movie or watching a uh, you know item song it is about something meaningful for your career and that's why you have to focus even though it requires a lot of attention from you right so uh, you know uh, so that is the case uh, sahiti i see see your chat uh, don't worry i, I see your chat <laughs> so uh, uh, guru nadha rao it would be uploaded uh, uh, today uh, after uh, one hour so guys this session would be available on the youtube after uh, around one hour or so guys theek hai uh, uh, so guys if you have any suggestion uh, for us uh, uh would you like to have any suggestion for us kuch kuch suggestion share karna chahe to share kar sakte hain okay lucky singh is saying, uh, saying sir you described very clearly because i had a course on ml from intern sala but you described in a detailed manner so lucky singh keh rahe hain ki sir maine intern sala se pehle course liya tha बट आपने जो एक्सप्लेन किया था वो काफी डिटेल में था थैंक यू लकी नलिन इज सेइंग सर नॉट एवरीथिंग इज गुड ओके अमे जादव इज सेइंग प्लीज कंडक्ट मोर सच प्रोग्राम्स इट्स वेरी हेल्पफुल ओके डॉक्टर सिल्वेस्टर कैन यू प्लीज शेयर द गूगल रिव्यू लिंक इफ यू वांट टू शेयर विद दीस गाइस आई आई डू दैट एंड वी हैव आल्सो बी ऑलरेडी पब्लिश द जुलाई कैलेंडर ऑन द गूगल ड्राइव सर so we, these people can look at that i'm talking about google review sir you that also sir but if they want the july calendar that is also available for the other courses aapki awaaz bahut kam aa rahi hai sir aaj okay uh, ashwin krishnan is saying sir please go a bit faster so that there would be a cover uh, there you can cover more topics on the day i think uh, ame uh, you know sometimes you have to create a foundation and if you want to create a strong foundation you have to be little patient uh, you know otherwise uh, things would be fragile for you in the future so i want to focus on the basic concepts so because that foundation is strong enough you can you know do anything uh, you know uh, on your own as well right so uh, that is the case akshat singh sir how to get a certificate we will uh, you know uh, share the details around the certificates uh, uh, soon akshat so please wait for them uh, pooja agrawal saying uh, sir this session is very interesting and productive right uh binita saying uh, binita kumari saying sir a practical session ke liye all time dijiye right uh, uh, so uh bank test i i think will uh, will will discuss on that part right so uh, kaji uh, hasan is saying sir can you please put uh, the source code there guys see this uh, that is there if if you uh, if you can see now uh, uh, nadir right Nitesh Jain is saying, "Sir, I have downloaded many courses of ML, but my doubts only clear here." <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Mani Kanta saying, "Sir, uh, thank you so much for conducting it for free. Uh, great, sir." Okay. Uh, so, uh, Vishwajit saying, "Sir, that uh, in code challenges, the solution be, you have provided for us, right?" Uh, so you can share. I, I'll share the yesterday's code challenge also in the day one directory, sir. Similarly, every day uh, the code challenges solutions are there in the directory itself. Navneet Kaur saying, sir, can you can teach us from PPT to save the time of writing? navneet kaur uh, what i have experienced and people can also you know reply here uh, what do they agree with me or like aaj ke time pe ppt dikhate hi to bachcha so jata hai navneet kaur ppt dikhai nahi aapne 10 minute and he is sleeping actually right and that you can experience in any physical classroom as well so ppts are i think not the best way to as of now uh, you know uh, 
obviously you know writing the code and you know that takes you know uh, 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 time and you know but uh, that is uh, that gives you more understanding navneet right uh, but kisi bhi bacche se aap feedback le lo uh, if if that guy will give you a feedback that you know uh, pptes you know make you uh, <laughs> uh, uh, sleepy actually right so uh, oh, boring ho jata hai so we don't want to keep that stuff we have no class which will in which we use ppt hamari kisi bhi class mein ppt nahi hai right we do not have any ppt there uh, no drumen we are not going to grade it but we'll just review them right yeah aditya will do that mala datta from assam is saying sir your methods and pace are fine please continue the way uh, you are doing thank you mala ji uh, uh, priyanka mk is saying sir why you are doing these classes for free i think this is a very good question uh, priyanka so pehli cheez to ye hai priyanka we want to you know uh, we want to make education for free to all but obviously if you want to offer education for free right you have to generate kind of a revenue uh, from other sources for that reason what we do we you know charge a small amount of a certificate the class is free to join class is free to attend you can take the class but if you are interested in taking the certificate you just need to pay you know uh, 200 or 300 rupees and Uh, if you want a uh, internship opportunity through our channel if you want the job opportunity through our channel if you want to work on the live projects uh, through our channel or our platform right for these cases you know uh, we you know uh, we ask people to pay a fee but the basic education is free for all that is the philosophy of the fast priyanka is that clear to you Priyanka did you get it uh, Yeah Vinash I understand you thank you Yeah Dhruman Das we do provide internships as well So guys uh, 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 do me a favor uh please write your uh, review uh, on the google uh, about uh, the classes about our philosophy what you liked what you did not like right please write your uh, google review on the link you can directly click on the link that has been shared on the chat window and share a feedback for us guys can you please do that if you if you are interested right if you want to do that राधा राजपूत सिंह सर यूट्यूब से रिकॉर्डिंग्स डिलीट तो नहीं होगी अभी तो कोई प्लान नहीं है राधा वी वी आर नॉट इन इन एज ऑफ नाउ इन नियर फ्यूचर देर इज नो प्लान टू डिलीट दैम राइट एटलीस्ट फॉर नेक्स्ट सिक्स मंथ्स यू कैन सेफली अज्यूम दैट दे आर गोइंग टू स्टे देयर फॉर नेक्स्ट सिक्स मंथ्स एटलीस्ट दे आर गोइंग टू बी देयर so guys please write a review if you like to if you want to you know uh, uh, if you want to you know uh, write a review for us uh, i think vinita kumari there are uh, so many downloaders you can use there right uh, no priyanka uh, they would be there for next 6 months right they would be there for the next 6 months at least so don't worry about that but if you want for the longer you know uh, duration i think better to download uh, the content from the google drive right uh, jay sharma yes you can attend our project hamare project courses uh, abhi start honge aapko details pahuncha di jayegi so whenever there is a project session uh, project session so you can attend that project uh, part
so guys uh, uh, shall we close the session now i think uh, uh, we can and the meeting now guys so guys thank you uh, thank you once again and uh, see you tomorrow at 4 pm bye bye